In today's video, I'm going to do some untangling of a download, a file structure that's all in a mess for downloadable files, converting a WordPress site to Joomla, and uh, just going to work together. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too, and welcome to Watch Me Work live stream number 29 here on the YouTube channel live because we're no longer, I'm no longer, we're the royal we, uh, no longer uh, streaming to Twitch for these and uploading later. Um, have moved everything over just to show it on YouTube. Was hoping some stuff would take off on Twitch, but not happening. So I'm going to cut my losses, save some time, and put everything on the channel, on the YouTube channel live. At least watch me work live streams. And we'll see what happens down the road. Anyways, so thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you are watching live, please say hi in chat. Uh, and as usual, uh, watching work live stream. Well, not as usual. Sometimes I have people have their act together and interviewing them here on the channel and they're showing us stuff. But uh, I have a website here that I'm um, converting from Joomla over to, uh, sorry, converting from WordPress over to Joomla. And uh, the uh, we'll, we'll get into it and I'll show you what's going on. So let's turn our attention over to the screen here. Uh, don't forget to head over to basicjoomla.com forward slash giveaways. Enter this month's giveaway. Congratulations to Chuck, who won last month's. We let him know on the live stream on Monday. And uh, if you've already won something in the last year, go ahead and enter because there's some new prizes. You can still win the new prizes uh, without repeating in a year. All right. Let me just take a quick look to make sure that uh, things are streaming along okay here. Yeah, it looks like it's going fine. All right. So let me show you a site here. Uh, da, 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 da. It is uh, Park Avenue Bible Church in uh, Melfort, Saskatchewan. And this is their old Juma site. They uh, were hosting with a company that had one of those modified WordPress installs and uh, made, it, uh, made it easier for people to put in their content. And one of the things was um, uh, put in their con content that's unique to churches because this is a, a church site. Uh, and, that, and their their previous hosting company did a lot of church sites. Uh, was they just focused on that? And basically, they had a tool in there that you could upload audio files of sermons, and it was all great and structured. Now this has been moved over to my server, so when I click on sermons, you will see that uh, that doesn't work. And here's their listings of everything to download, but this this app is not even working in my. Uh, uh, on my server. Uh, so that's just a reminder to everybody. You want to own your own website. And, to, and what I always say in owning your own website is um, have your domain name, have a domain name. It has to be registered in your personal name. Uh, you know, sometimes people register domains for friends or clients and they put them in their own name. They're going to switch them later. And then that creates huge problems down the road when that person wants to do something else with their domain. And it turns out that technically they don't own it even though morally they may. Uh, when you're trying to uh, move it to somewhere else, you can't use a moral argument uh, with the registrars. Uh, anyways, um, and the other thing of owning your own site is that you uh, should be able to download it and move it to any other hosting and it all completely work. So um, if you have a core or a raw like a very like the plain unadulterated uh, WordPress site or Drupal or Joomla, then you own your site. You download it, you can move it somewhere else. So here's a WordPress site that uh, isn't quite like that. So I was I downloaded it. Well, I've, actually, I used to keep a backup the WordPress version to transfer it to my server. All right. So what we end up with is files all over the place. And if we go to resources here. And then you go, let's go, this is Faith at Home. We end up on these pages here. Uh, here, let's go here, some tips and hints for holidays. Each one of these, uh, um, each one of these graphics points to a file that can be downloaded. Now, if you look in the bottom left-hand side, it's kind of blocked there by the two that shows how many people are watching on, on uh, YouTube right now. Let me... Uh, I think I can, uh, I think I can change that. You know, I was a little bit late today because YouTube has changed their live stream page, and uh, so I had to figure that out before I could go live. And then uh, here we are. Here, here's okay. Here. 
Sorry, I disappeared there for a second. I should not have clicked on that. Ah, oh, my goodness. Something is... Um, how do I turn that off down there? I can't. Well, we'll figure that out. Anyways, when I mouse over each of those, it points to where the file has been uploaded. And the goofy thing that happens in WordPress is that files are uploaded to a uh, to a folder. That, so down in the bottom left hand corner, I'll just read it to you. I might be able to make it a bit bigger. Let's see here. No, mousing over doesn't change that. Anyway, so I mouse over and we look down. And uh, so the Christmas gifts document that they you can download through this link is in the folder WP content uploads 2015 07. So basically when you upload a file, WordPress puts it uh, in a different folder for each year and month that you're uploading the file, which, you know, which is fine if you're just sitting there, but if you want to go and update that file or change that file or find it on your web hosting, you have to collect them from all over. Whereas in Joomla, you upload the files to the same folder and just click links to it or a folder structure that you know that makes sense. So what I'm going to do today is just do some work on this site, on the Joomla site, and I want to convert, um, I want to move these files into a common folder and you'll see how we go about that. All right, so um, here we go. Let's go to the sample, to the working site right now, sandbox site I've got going here, which is joomla.pabc. This is an asteroid template that I have on this site here, and I am really enjoying learning Asteroid and using it. And uh, so anyways, when we go over here, uh, and uh, I have a lot of stuff in here as placeholders, so I need to get some pictures from uh, this client, and uh, they don't really have a logo. So I just have a, so please don't judge me on the basic look of this right now, uh, because I'm just throwing things in there just to give them an idea and ask them for what I need. But we go to resources to that same faith at home. And what I've done is instead of having everything on one page, faith at home, I have uh, separated each article in uh, each page made in an article. And you'll see all these graphics are pointing to uh, are, are not wrapping properly. I need to fix that. But again, we saw this situation. Uh, I have the old links here to the old to the old file location. So in within Joomla, within this Joomla site, oh, let's see, here's the message. Uh, yeah, John, uh, hey, hey, hold on for a sec. Uh, uh, John Moholter, are you in chat yet? On YouTube. Uh, Ch John just uh, chatted me here. Uh, I, I think he's looking for me on Twitch. So I just sent him a message here on Facebook. He texted me. He's looking for that. So we'll see him soon in here. Um, okay, so... Uh, bah, 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 bah. All right, so when I moved this site over, I, I created the Joomla site. I copied... Uh, I imported the content over from, the, um, from WordPress using extension that created articles inside of Joomla. But of course, as that was imported, it still has all the old WordPress links. So I actually copied over the WordPerfect uh, file structure for the images and where the files were, put that within Joomla, so those links are not broken. Um, so this graphic here, for instance, if I open it in a new tab, uh, no, if I open the image in a new tab, we will see here that uh, the address up here is images word perfect content uploads 2015 07 OOAC. So that is, um, you know, I do not want that messy file structure to be left inside the um, inside the Joomla install, but I will be moving these images over and uh, these other things into the Joomla structure. Then I can delete all these. But for the purpose of working on the site, I copied. Uh, yes, hi, John. Um, yes, uh, I announced last week and on Monday that I'm not doing the live, I'm not doing the Washington Work live streams on Twitch anymore. I'm going to uh, just do them on YouTube. So that's what uh, that's what was happening there. So I'm glad I saw that you uh, messaged me on Facebook there, 
and I could send you here. Yes, hello. So we're not on Twitch anymore. I'm bailing on Twitch because uh, it was just extra work and nobody was watching. All right, so uh, here I am. So, John, just to catch you up, I'm uh, uh, converting a WordPress site into Joomla, and there's a bunch of file links for downloading that are all throughout the structure of WordPerfect, uh, WordPress, sorry. And uh, so I now want to move them on the server, uh, on the Joomla install, actually, so that I can get rid of the old WordPress structure, which I have carried over when I imported to Joomla. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, the first trick is, in order to move all of the doc files that are linked in each of these images, I need to put them into one folder. And I could hunt and peck them, and then I could copy them one at a time by looking at these links. But I know that here on this page, that they are all linked to the same place. So let's go into the um, at back end of this site. And uh, then we will see what is happening here. So here in the back end of the site, let's go to content and to articles. And let's look at that children article. Children, uh, C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N. And as we go into there, all of the images that appear on that page, the children page, here are the graphics. And again, as we click on the link and look and see, we'll see that they're pointing to their old WordPress uh, location where WP content uploads and I put that inside of images so uh, but this actual file that gets downloaded is this DOCX file it's a doc file a word file and I want to move that into a different structure on uh, on the Joomla site so what I'm going to do is and I'll show I just going to close this I'm going to go and create a new article. I don't even want to create an article, but I want to access, and I'm using JC Editor, I want to access the file upload system. Uh, so this, uh, and I'm going to do that with this link. Here is the button for inserting and editing an image. This button inserts or edits a file. So I'm going to open that. And where am I going to put these files? So the uh, this whole part of the site is the Faith Path site. So I'm going to go into that folder and uh, I'm going to create a new folder called Downloads. All right. And now that we have a Downloads folder, I'll go into there. Next, what I want to do is move, upload all of the files that they have in the old WordPress install into this folder. And then we'll change the links inside each page to point to the new location. All right. So um, to do that, I need to go to my, a window here on my computer a folder. And you will see that in this folder here, I have a whole bunch of things that uh, I'm using on uh, as I work on converting the site over to the Joomla. And as we look in here, here's an images folder. Uh, this is uh, so, some extension files from installing Asteroid. Uh, and then here is uh, their old Joomla, uh, their old WordPress site. Uh, here, this, the JPA files, this is when I moved over their WordPress site with Akiba Backup. So I used Akiba Backup for WordPress. I exported, I did a backup, and then I imported it onto my server. Uh, but as you will see, when we get into the old site here, this is, uh, I actually FTP down all of the files as well. And in the old company that they hosted with, they had uh, their word, their customized WordPress that they offered was in this HP underscore WordPress folder. And then you've got WP content. And then we run into the same problem, as I pointed before, we get to uploads and then you've got by year and uh, by different, uh, some, a couple different folders there. And this, a lot of things were uploaded in 2015 and then you've got to go and find them. And here's PNG, but periodically in here, oh, then we get into the docs. There's all kinds of stuff. And to hunt and peck this stuff could be a real pain. So what I know that the files that I want, I looked into this, uh, are were all uploaded in 05. And how I know that is this. Uh, let's just cancel this new article window that I have open. If I go to, I, I looked at this previously. When we go into uh, 
onto that page. And again, let's go resources, faith at home. And we'll go down to the children that we were looking at or any of these files. When I mouse over them, look at their links, I see that they were all uploaded, thankfully, uh, 2015 in July. This is all done as one project. So all of the folders, all, all of the documents I want to move to um, Joomla were uploaded to this WordPress site in, 2000, in July of 2015, which means down here, I want to go to the folder here, 2015 July, and they used all doc, .doc or .docx files. So I can uh, do this in the search. And I'll make this bigger. Up here in the search, I can look for all files that are DOC, that have DOC in them. And I get to all of these Word files that they have for the downloads, except there's these PDFs here. So now, next what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this off to the side for a second. I'll go back in and open up that new article. I'll go to the uh, JCE insert edit file. And I'm going, I'm already in the downloads, I'm in the faith path downloads folder. And now I'm going to go upload. And th now this is the method that I'm using. Um, I'm going to move all of, all of these documents that were found by filtering in the folder where they were uploaded to in by, in WordPress. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click the last one and then I'm going to drag these into the box. We'll see how well that works. Um, now they're all sitting there waiting for upload. At this point, um, you know, let's talk. There's a number of different ways that you could upload all of these files. Once you have them isolated, you could upload them through the file manager of your web hosting. You could upload them through another extension that perhaps you use in your Joomla sites for managing files right in your install. I think Focal Commander might be one. XT Explorer, EXT Explorer is another one. Basically, you want to upload all of these files to the folder that we're now going to change all the links to point in that one place. And it's not going to be buried all off into the, into the WordPress taxonomy of it as well. So here they all are. They all look like they're going to fit. So we will just go upload. And let's watch what happens. It's going to go nice and fast. We're going to have a good internet connection here. Cyber Salt World headquarters, all of those files are going there. And while that is happening, we're going to do this. Let's go to the old site and let's right click and we're going to copy the link address for the document that gets downloaded when you click on this graphic. I'm going to open up Notepad++, a new tab, and bring that over here. And so I'll just do it this way. This is the old link. All right. And I'm going to paste that link. And we'll see that the old link is WP Content Uploads 2015-07 Seasonal Christmas Gifts from the heart. What we're most concerned about is what is the old path? Because right now the path goes uh, for the folders is 2015-07 and it's in WordPerfect content uploads. All right. All right. Now the new link is going to be this. As we go back to this article where we bombed everything up. Looks like it's all up. Oh, uh, invalid mind type. Okay, a couple things did not upload there. I wonder why it's invalid mind type. Okay. Um, looks like the .dox files are failing. Nope, looks like those updated. Okay, let's just check this out here. Looks like everything else uploaded except for these here. 
And so what I would want to do is check out those later on and see why they didn't upload. All right, that's okay. Um, what will we do here? This is what happens in the Watch Me Work live streams when something breaks. Oh my goodness, yeah, I have, let me change the right screen. Thanks, Edza. Um, what is the right, uh, okay, so these uploaded. There's a lot of things for me to just click that did not, files that did not work. So let's see here. Uh, do, 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 which goes, which belongs to, I need to find out the error reports to the name above it or below it. Um, do, do, do. let's see here. Those are all in the same square touching. So I think it's probably that there's enough there that normally I would take the time and just write down which ones didn't go, but I'm not going to do that now. We're probably going to have to resort to another way to upload them. So let's go close. Close that. We have all of those files in here now when we refresh this. And that's great. Uh, just to talk about what our new path is going to be, this is in the uh, images. This is where images uh, the images folder is displayed here in the file manager. So it's forward slash faith path forward slash downloads. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Uh, images forward slash faith path faith path forward slash downloads. Let's make sure that I type that properly. Faith path downloads okay so i'm just going to cancel that now that i've uploaded those things and we will deal with those broken links in just a second all right so um let's next go to all right so here's what we want to do in each of these articles get my clicking together we want to find wp content forward slash uploads 2015 forward slash 07 and change it to images forward slash faith path forward slash downloads in each article now the trick here is that we also have png files that are uh, that are in this path here that are being used right now and i haven't moved those over so if we were to uh, find and replace in a number of articles we could uh, uh, it's just the doc ones that we want to replace and that's going to be a challenge too so uh, it's something I hadn't hadn't anticipated there so that's uh, first of all going to this children's article here by the way I do have a zoom call going here let me uh, let me share that. Let's see, imitation URL has been cut. Yeah, let me share that in chat. Du, 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 share. No, that's not the file that I want to do that. Invite others. There we go. Copy the URL. And I find my chat here. If you want to get in on a Zoom call or give me any ideas or comment along the way or talk, there you go. And I'm already in there, so you won't be in there alone. All right, so let's close that. We go into this children. What's flashing here? Yes, all right, so in this, and we go to the code, we can see here that, um, and I've not removed the old uh, Facebook um, uh, div class stuff in here. In fact, why don't we just do that right now? I'm going to go select all, control A, and then in JCE editor, there's this remove formatting button. And so if we remove the formatting, that should take out quite a bit of the code in the, in the background here. Let's see, I think it did, it usually does. Let's look at the code. 
Yeah, it did. It took out a lot of all of that other divs and, and things. Easier to read here. So we see we have images. We have a link to the documents here. And then image sources are also 2015. Which makes me uh, think that we should... Uh, I'm going to have to move these images eventually. Um, and then uh, I wasn't really ready to do any regex stuff. Which I this did not flow off the tip of my tongue when I'm working on these things either. So... Uh, to actually change the URLs that only have doc in them is not going to uh, is, is going to be complicated as well. So uh, let's change up paths here. Here we have in this do, 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 in this folder here on my computer. It's a little bit hard to see where to click and drag. These are all the files that are uh, that are the doc files in the 07 folder in in um, WP Content Uploads 2015. I'm thinking now that uh, I'm just going to move all of these files over and just change all the URLs very easily. I think I will do that uh, because then because uh, the the issue being if here. In the Joomla pages, I find and replace WP Content Uploads 2015-07 and replace it with um, Images Faith Path Downloads. Then I'm going to move the images as well in here in, in the code, which would end up breaking them. And again, it's, this is one of the sloppy things of converting a site over from WordPress to Joomla or converting a site from one thing to another. There's always going to be those file, uh, those little funny file things, and it's going to take a little while to move things. So, new plan. Let's uh, go back to all of the files in WordPerfect Content Uploads 2015-07, and I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to right-click and I'm going to compress them which will be this link here let's see send to send to compress zip folder and I will just call that folder 07 there's also a big uh, audio file uh, uh, video file in there all right so here's the file there that was just I think that's the one that was just made Let's see. Properties. Yeah, April 3rd. I just made that. So I'm going to call this file um, transfer 07. All right. So then on my on another screen, I'm going to go into the web hosting account for this site. Um, open it up over here. And we will go into there. I list the accounts. I go down to their web hosting, which is this file folder here. All right, so we'll bring that over to the main screen. Now minimize that here. I'm going to go File Manager. And I'm going to go to Public HTML. I'm going to go to, uh, oh, actually, I have this test site uh, I have this sandbox site or the uh, demo site or the site I'm working on in a subfolder, joomla.pabc.ca. So now I'm in the Joomla install. I'm going to go to images. I'm going to go to faith path and I'm going to go to downloads. Um, but instead of doing downloads, I'm just going to delete that that folder that we made and go up and I'm going to just put everything in the faith path folder itself because there's images and docs in there. We can sort things out later. Later on, I'm going to suggest to the client that they convert all of these docs to PDFs. Um, this is a site that, you know, is obviously done back in 2015. I think someone's helping them out with the site and it's probably easier just to make the PDFs. Plus in 2015, it was a little bit harder to make PDFs. There weren't so many programs that would save as a PDF. That means that I'm uh, just going to update this. When I do my find and replace, I'm going to have to do 
Just images, faith path. Hello, I hear someone has just entered. Don't hear anyone yet. Um, all right. So just say hello when you uh, maybe have to turn your mic on. Uh, so here we are in the file manager, images, and in faith path. Next, I want to upload all those things that I just zipped up. And here I can select the file or I can drag and drop. And to drag and drop, I will do this. Uh, here's the transfer 07 zip down in the bottom. I'm going to do this. Where are we here? Boy, these colors fade together pretty well. Transfer. All right, there it is. Oops. No border between top there. I'm going to left click and drag that in. 70 megabytes. So we're going to upload that. Edza, I see you're in there. I don't, uh, uh, there's no microphone icon for you. Oh, and you just disappeared. So maybe you saw that. Um, yeah, there was no microphone icon. So your sound was not coming through. So try calling again. Uh, here we have this file. Has, all right, so this file is uploaded. I can close that. I'm going to reload. Here's transfer 07 zip. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract. And that shows the folder where I want to extract everything. That is good. And I will extract those files, close, and reload. Now I have all those PNG files, all those buttons, and all of the docs in there. That's great. Next, I'm going to then go back here. I'm going to close this article because now I can do this. I can go to uh, uh, regular labs DB replacer and in the intro text and full text of all articles I'm going to search for WP content forward slash uploads and search and let's go here and look to see and there's 26 rows where that is found and row a row would be one article so it can be in in an article multiple times. The sources there is images forward slash and then it finds that. And what I want to do is replace with uh, faith path. Now actually up here the old link is this images forward slash. If I was going to have images forward slash faith path here I need to make sure I have images up there. So that's just for fun put that in there images forward slash search and we still have the same 25 rows that are found okay next we're going to change images forward slash faith path now notice at the end here I have a forward slash and here I don't so if I'm going to take out the forward slash here at the end I need to make sure I have it in there so next, so I'm replacing anywhere in any article that has a link or has this, te this text, images forward slash WP content forward slash uploads forward slash 2015 forward slash 07. I'm replacing that with images forward slash faith path. All right. So uh, let's do that search for that. And now we will replace and I will say I am sure. I certainly am really sure. And if we have done everything right, I can, uh, first of all, I can clean the cache for the site. I can go back to this Faith at Home page to Children. And if I click on this, I should get a download for that file. And I do. And as we look, let's uh, copy the link address. The link for that is this, joomla.pabc.ca, images, faithpath, 
kids-meals-at-home, one-of-a-kind, pizza-web doc. So I actually have moved those uh, those URLs and I've moved all the files. And you'll notice I avoided, you know, my original plan was to just use JCE editor to um, uh, use the file insert and edit button to upload all of them. But then I ran in that problem that said that there were some wrong MIME types. It might have been these files that had an at sign in them or some strange character that could have thrown things off. But by uh, by doubling back and then taking all those files and putting them into a zip file, uploading them at once to the server through the file manager and unzipping them, then I avoid that MIME problem. And that was another way to skin that cat. Of course, now we have um, on the server a lot of files in this old location, uh, which is WP Content Uploads 2015-07. I've just moved them to a new location. I don't need them on the server anymore. So we can go to that location. So right now I have the WordPress site in the public HTML, WP Content, Uploads 2015 07. And you know what? I can just delete that whole folder because I have it on my computer and I don't need that on the site anymore on the web space. So I will delete that and skip the trash and confirm. And now, now the good thing about this too is I may find some content later on or some images that are broken because. If there's some place other than articles that these images were being used, they'll show up as broken, but I'll be able to view the code and I know where they have been moved to. All right, so we can refresh this page here. They're all going to be there. We can click this Faith at Home category to go back. And uh, let's check something out. Here's the children's list. Let's go down to uh, teenagers. And click here and that file is there to be downloaded so that is good uh, so there's uh, sort of my main goal right now to fix up this section of all of these download files the other thing too is that uh, by having just the links uh, having images and then linking to a file for download that's one way to do it, but don't forget there's other th other things in uh, for Joomla and extensions that manage files and downloads, and so you could actually have people go like Folka download is one. I just saw one the other day that worked really nicely. Uh, you set it up and you would have files uh, hosted on your Dropbox or OneDrive, and they would actually show up on the page and people could click on them and download them. And you could also uh, update, I think, folders on your Joomla site by uploading to Dropbox as well. So I didn't look too much at that because it was a paid extension, and, and I, uh, the person I was talking to, was actually my wife for a site that uh, that she uh, for um, uh, uh, an organization that she's involved in that we're involved in. Uh, we didn't read, need that functionality, so we didn't buy it. But there are other solutions for Joomla out there that will allow you to do your file managing. Uh, but again, in this case, I'm just tidying up the horrible structure that WordPress has for when files are uploaded to have everything more into one place to see it. Because you can see the advantages that instead of having to go through upload uh, WP content uploads 2015 and then the month, to be able to just have it in one location where all those files were which is uh, images and faith path. And then here's all the graphics. Now I am going to later on use R2H, um, uh, use image manager from R2H, which we've seen in the past Watch Me Work live stream. Um, and <clears throat> I will find out which of these PNG images do not fit, are not being used on the site anywhere. And then I can just delete them. And then I can also mass move them to a proper image folder and then the downloads will in fact be there in their own in their own place so uh, in fact maybe we can uh, maybe we'll do that now if you have any comments or questions and i don't know i uh, i don't know eds if you're going to try to come back in if you can get your mic working or anything like that um you're welcome to keep trying i don't mind lots of uh lots of alerts of people coming and going while they try to sort things out um 
All right, so let's do that. I think I have J2H installed on here. J2, R2H, sorry, R2H Image Manager. Check this out. In fact, uh, while we're checking this out, I'm going to go uh, Kiba Backup. I'm going to make just a backup of the site while we're at this stage. All right, one click backup. And while that is running, we'll go here and we will take a look at, we will refresh the view of all images as this is going to look at everything. Notice here, um, because I have WP content and uploads in the Joomla site, I, it does show images that are here. Um, this 2015-07 is going to come up empty, of course, because that's all gone. Um, and for somehow I will need to do refresh. See, it's not going to find it there because we just moved all those things. We'll see what happens while we just wait for this backup. Yes, thank you, Vinny. I keep forgetting. Yeah, here we are. Uh, <laughs> I need to... Uh, I need people to sit here switching screens for me, keep me attract, uh, paying attention. Uh, so I'm in uh, R2H Image Manager here and looking at um, the images. Uh, it's, this is obviously caching because I just deleted these, these files here. Or did I... Which folder did I... Do? Oh, you know what I did? Uh-oh. That's all right. This site's going live soon anyways. I broke... I deleted these images on the live site. We'll wait while we refresh. That's what I did. Taking a little while there to sort itself out. A lot of things happening on my computer right now. I think that I just deleted them from the from the live site images let's check this out images word perfect uploads 2015 07 oh yeah there they all there there <laughs> all right i deleted them from the wrong place i deleted them from the wordpress install instead of from the joomla install no problem i can fix that easy enough don't know to click upload go up a level here i'll delete 07 in fact, I think I can do that through uh, um, R2H. Do I want to wait until it's finished backing things up, though? Probably. I don't want to mess up the Akiba backup while it's happening. No, uh, Vinny, all of those are not images. For instance, let's go back here. These are images, but then the docs are in there as well. And so uh, just what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the going to use the R2H image manager to move the images out of here and then I'll have the docs in one place and then I can put the images elsewhere. A lot of this is going to still need to be the goal of this is the right now is to get this site uh, updated so that I can start training the uh, uh, the people at the church so that they can make the changes because they've not been able to do that uh no not them what's on the website oh are you talking about uh these are these all images is that what you're asking if that's what you're asking yes these are all images this is the way that the uh, yeah this is the way that they did it on the previous site and i'm copying the content over um and so i want to get it to where things were um, they may very well be updating this content or um, I, I just getting everything moved over. This is, uh, this is a job that I'm doing, which is I'll build you a new site, get everything reorganized and give you training so you guys can work on this yourself. So they don't have, uh, they don't, uh, yeah, so I did not quote on all the time it would take to manually go through this. So yes, text should never be images, although they could use alt text, but yes, back uh, the, the the volunteer who built this site and worked on this site did it this way years ago and um, and yeah and made went through and made all of these graphics uh, and I think that we know why that happens uh, some if if you don't know how to do it in CSS 
or to uh, do it in a different in a in a in a design method that we would use and you want it to look a certain way then you just start making graphics over and we can see that uh, here Christmas gifts and Christmas Carol movie chat and deception on display they're all sort of different sizes in order to fit into probably the template of making the graphic or maybe they use the program that made this but yeah that's that's something else uh, again this is a you know so this is a church that couldn't do anything with their website was um, wanted to get things going to be better and so uh, yeah I'm fixing it up and then I'll be able so and again my point before was that these are all D, uh, .doc or .docx files so I'll do a tutorial on them to show them to open them save them as PDFs give them a different name without special characters in them and uh, maybe even discuss other ways that they can present the files but th this does work for people to just read and get what they want but it's not helping them with their search and yeah, it's not gonna it's not the best look but anyways onwards and upwards for them the backup here finalizing the process oh yeah there's some big uh some videos that they have uploaded here that i'll also be moving off to somewhere that serves up faster lots of things to do with them here um i'll tell you i'm trying to get preach it the extension for this site and i have not been able to get a hold of them though i did not check the email today but um i think i'm gonna have to go with i may have to go with something else which is too bad because that's a really nice extension all right well this backup will keep going here let's go to uh, r2h here and let's see let's go to uh images faith path and it's going to look at what is being used uh let's generate thumbnails here for this folder it says it could take a while that's okay now uh, we see here that there is a red dot on some of these images which means they're not used anywhere in any article and then we get into uh green dot ones that there are and we uh, you know if you if you're taking over or working on a site that someone else has done you start to see um you start to look at the name of things so here's one dash as i know this is faded out while this corrects itself but here's one dash 150 by 98 png so we know and then here's one dash 300 by 84 png and there's one dot png so it looks like we would guess that here, this file has been uploaded in something that made a bunch of different size versions of it. And uh, in this case, uh, only one of them is getting used. Um, especially we see 10300x84.png. Uh, and then we see a bunch of, there's an 11, 12, uh, the 300 by 84 looks to be that they're all green there we are 43 percent while this um while these thumbnails are being done here so what i'm going to do once we get done from uh, once these thumbnails are here i'm going to double check to make sure that they all do look the same and then i'm just going to click to remove the unused images which is great as we saw for this extension before 50%. Okay, this might be generating thumbnails everywhere on the whole server. Plus, on top of that, forgot to keep a backup pounding away on the site there as well. Anyways, a work in progress. As many of you know, taking on someone else's site and moving it over, you find all kinds of stuff and little fiddly things in order to... Um, in order to get things tidied up to where you want although it's sort of a satisfying thing it's sort of like peeling that when you buy a new appliance and it comes with plastic on it and then you start to peel the whole layer off um the protective plastic and it's kind of satisfying it gets kind of satisfying once you get moving things over okay well 62 percent here while wow, we're waiting away let's uh i wonder if there's anything i can uh i was talking looking we we're looking on monday some of the stuff i was doing on this site um with asteroid 
I'm going to, it's one of the interesting things, and if, if you guys have some advice on this, because all of these articles have divs in them, and I prefer to have paragraphs, because a lot of the text gets squished together. So for instance, if I go to About Us and go to uh, one of their old pages, I know both of these pastors, and uh, so these are out of date, but... Um, the description that goes along with their pastor here and or at least in this article is all divs and I uh, so in order to get a space like paragraph marks between lines it uh, takes a little while a lot of things happening here on the site so and on my computer yeah divs should only be used for layout yeah so I, I'm mostly, so see here, Pastor Larry, Senior Pastor, there's a div at the end of that. So I'm going to, um, I need to switch that over. I know that you can select divs or paragraph marks when you hit enter in JCE editor, but I need to find sort of a faster way to put paragraphs in between. So anyways, even just having a fresh, bright template and moving content so for instance, over here they had About Us, or go to the About Us page, and then um, uh, they had everything on one, and they had the uh, the text here. Whatever they did, it didn't put in divs. Find and replace in JCE editor, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I guess, uh, well the other thing too is, uh, yeah, find and replace. Once I strip the code out, wipe out the formatting and do find and replace I would like to do something a little bit more broader like with uh, with um, DB replacer but there's so much stuff that's in with the divs I think it's going to have to be just a um, just a one article at a time thing and I may just train them and show them how to do that so do you know you can autom um, do you know you can automate generating thumbnails using a cron job refer to our website yeah so that's a nice thing about this use a cron job okay for doing thumbnails so let's say okay so up here we see that here is pointer one sing pointer one oh pointer one single pointer one single and this is used uh, this is these are all red but here's the, uh, oh, and there's pointer one single. Who knows what uh, where that is used. Uh, but all of these red dots, it says the image is possibly not used. I don't, you know, they're all repetitive. So, in fact, we can go to the site here, and let's just see what the taxonomy of these images looks like. Open image in, uh, no, open image in new tab, yeah. The name of this is, OOAK-300 by 89. So it looks like 300 by 89 is what they've been using. So when we look at these uh, images here, 300 by 84. Let's scroll down here. 300 by 84. Somewhere they probably changed to 300 by 89. But you see so many of these are all the same. So I'm going to trust R2H Image Manager that these are not needed, are not used anywhere on the site. And I'm just going to go um, unused images, which I think this will delete it. Finding unused images, this could take a while depending on your server. I wonder if it's, the, oh, it might be doing everything. Well, it's just in that one folder. And here they all are in the images faith path. And this is, yeah, so it only did that folder. Oh, it's also looking in other places. Um, all right, so why don't we just do this all in one fell swoop too? Get rid of these images. Because here's the images, WP contents, uploads, 2014-07, life groups, 300 by 300. So this is happening in lots of folders. Uh, that's good to see that there are some things being used in 2014-07. Oh, this are all their uploads for their sermon series. But there are a bunch of things that aren't being used here. Yeah, although those images there, 07, 08 announcements. Yeah, this is all old pointing stuff, so... Do I want to just bail on all those things and delete them? See, sermon series. 
files that uh, um, are not used anywhere. Well, if they're not used anywhere, they're not used anywhere and they can be recovered. And I have them on my home computer as well if I need to go looking for them. So let's just clean those. 1,455 images going to go bye-bye. Where's our Akiba backup at? It's in post-processing. That's okay. Let's kill them. There, delete it. 1,001 of 1,001 images. Now it's a little bit easier to see what's being used here. Uh, no, it says pointer 26 grief. Not all of them say, and here's some graphics. I know where those go. Okay, blinded by sin. So somewhere, oh, connected. So somewhere the pointer must be a thing. All right, well, if we did all this finding and replacing correct, we can now. Um, do, 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 do. Let's open up a new tab just to go to that. Clean the cache. We will go refresh. And here are all of the Faith at Home pages. See any that say, oh, rekindled. Oh, pointers. Oh, okay, there is actually. That's why I didn't see it because it's off at the bottom here. Pointer, one single. Okay. So R2H really saved me a ton of replacing there. Here's the backup is complete. 400 five megabytes yeah because i've been duplicating stuff there um so that saved me a ton of work cleaning that up and so why don't we just go into uh, one of the first i'm going to create in the drop down to here a link for each of these um each of these different groups here but let's go into the children article content articles and there it is and let's do some fixing around of these images that are all stacked like that just for the purpose of getting everything looking nice uh, and uh, so we're going to view the code we want to get rid of the divs now notice here so here we have div class sflb underscore role this has not yet had the uh, word perfect CSS cleaned out of it and so that's where we're gonna go control a and use this button here which removes formatting in JCE editor and now we can go to code and you'll see all we have left are these divs and we have div 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 and then we've got slash div slash div and a slash div there so we got one, two, three divs, one, two, three divs, uh, slash divs. So I, if I want all of these to have a paragraph mark uh, for their own line, I can do that. But you know what? I don't want, I want to jam all of these images in together so that at least, so they can sit on the page side by side, like on the original page where we were uh, looking there. And have some space there and i'm going to just and this is just to get things so it looks good enough on the new site looks like this so we can build from that point once it's live so the first thing that i'm going to do is get rid of these three divs here and i'm going to change this closing div to a paragraph at the end and get rid of those two that go with that all right uh, so now when we go to editor, I have a paragraph mark at the end of this, which hopefully stayed there. Yep. And now all I have the, left to deal with are divs here. And so I'm going to then do this. Uh, as Vinny suggested, I'm going to replace div, div, div. Control copy. And I'll put that in there. I'm going to leave those spaces in there and I'm going just to replace it with uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, this, oh, I'll just use uh, stars. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's six, seven, eight. All right. So let's replace all. Nope. That did not do it either because of those spaces. So let's take the spaces out in between.
use a grid layout. Okay, we'll check that out. Oops. See if I get this replace thing working here. No. Vinny says use a grid layout. All right, CS says get the low down uh, bootstrap includes a responsive mobile first fluid. Yeah, it scales up to 12 columns. Da, 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 da. All right. Bootstrap requires which, uh, where am I reading here, Vinny? Um, oh, I think I remember. Uh, rows must be placed within a container fixed with. To, to, to media. All right. Grid options. Do do okay. I'm looking around here, food container. Do do, do. example mobile. Oh, you see, I see what you're saying. We got div classes here. Okay. I think that will be a video in and of itself. I see what you're saying here. There's divs that we can put in here in classes because this is bootstrap and then it will show things on certain screens and certain rows. That's something I will definitely look into. In the meantime, I'm going to do something different that will be responsive mobile, it's just the same. And let's replace those divs. Okay, replace all of those. It'll make a row and column effect, yes. Yeah, and I saw that. I, I, um, that's probably an elegant and the way to do it. I have three of those. Uh, I'm going to change that replace there. Whoops. What on earth did I just do there? Okay. Backtracking. Well, yes. In find and replace, use the regular expression. Yes. I agree. What would that regular expression be? He wonders. I have to fix what I just uh, broke here. Um, I really just want to end up with uh, nothing but um, images here. And I'm going to put the border around them. Find and replace use regular expression. Okay, so... Yeah, you don't have a clue either. I know. I wasn't planning on doing uh, on this, and so uh, it would be. F uh, I don't know. Watch. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace. Uh, I'm gonna just strip all the divs. Doesn't matter, because watch this. Uh, that's where I'm stripping all the divs. I'm going to strip all the slash divs. All right, so that leaves me with nothing but images and links. And there they all are. Well, that's okay. Actually, you know what? Because of the borders that uh, the original person put in for all of this, that doesn't, that, I think that might actually work for me. Uh, let's go code. Uh, now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go control A and I'm going to center and so this top line here I'm going to align it back to there and if I save that uh, because that's going to give me three paragraphs right now without the uh, yeah, Vinny asked why don't you put in find div and replace with paragraph um, because uh, I don't want each of these images on their own paragraph anyways I don't I want them all on the same line that's why but look at that, they're all sitting there. I'm gonna save that. And let's preview this page. 
and watch what happens. There's all of those nice little graphics and because I have them just sitting on their own line waiting to be centered on a narrow device, uh, that's not what I want to do, on a narrow device they're going to wrap. So I, I didn't do it very eloquently but using the images and the spaces that are there it's still doing the nice thing that we want it to and again my goal here is for to get this site live so that they can then begin to start to work on on things uh, i can teach them how to change this image into a text link with a nice icon and and everything but uh, that I, that i can live with because that is responsive and uh, what I thought I was going to have to do was this. Go, in, go into one of these images. Uh, go into the image manager. And I was going to have to put a uh, padding around them. Of say, here I'll, be, I'll exaggerate it, 25. All right. Update. And then I was going to view the code. And then I was going to go to this first one. And anywhere where it said image uh let's see images image style and then source i was going to find and replace i was going to find everywhere that had image source equals and i was going to replace it with image style equals margin 25 picks in the code um, in order to make that consistent all the way around but with the way the graphic is um, it spaces out well enough and that's fine. Had these not had any white space around them, I would have uh, I would have done that, added padding to one image and then done find and replace in the code. And again, uh, this is not final product. This is me trying to get existing stuff that looks uh, that works as well as possible. Uh, I think so, there's times when clients want a brand new site or a starting out with a site and they want it all done and they're going to do a launch. And then, but this site is actually, we've actually had some issues. We had some issues getting the domain transferred, um, blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, so this is being drawn out and, and I'm not being paid to redo everything. So I'm just getting this, uh, getting paid to give this, uh, to have a site here that they can work on themselves. So I'm going to take out those borders and I'm going to great save that so that means um, we cannot now there is a regex that a find and replace that we can do on these articles because they are in the same um, category let's do that uh, search and this is the faith at home category Here's children, teenagers, holidays, marriage, pointers, faith path, faith at home. All right, so that, for instance, let's take a look at this pointers one. We probably have the same thing. Articles all the way down. All right. Okay. Now, um, when I look at this code, I, I, how do I wipe out the Facebook stuff? All oh, that's all there. It looks like all the same. We have sflb444 well that's obviously some, some kind of um well what you were just talking about Vinny, about the bootstrap because it adds up to 12 no yeah that adds up to 12. um but i need to get rid of all these divs in here and there's only so much there so hey let's just do this uh first of all I'll go here we'll go components db replacer all right now uh let's search i'm gonna watch i'm gonna search for the search for the letter sorry the search for the letter a but in categories that what is the category number of faith at home it is 18. Oh, okay, that's not bootstrap. Must be the templates framework. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Um, you you obviously would know better than me or because um, the fact that you recognize that. 
Anyways, category, so uh, category is 18. So let's go back here. Where cat ID equals 18. That's where. Look for anything that has A. So we go search 7. And so what have we done here? We've got category 18. These are only articles that are in 18. Excellent. So now I can do this. Uh, I can go to articles. Still filtering by faith at home. Let's go to pointers. All right. And let's just slowly work our way through these div classes. So I don't want that. I copy that. We go back to DB replacer. I'm going to search for everywhere in cat articles in category 18 that have that code. One row. Really? Looks like that's the only place. And which one is this? Created by alias modified. Where's the title here? Intro text pointers. Oh, it's oh pointers. Oh, so that only occurs in that article there. All right. So I thought that that would be everywhere. So in this case, instead of doing find and replace everywhere, I just need to just go control A and I go to uh, remove the formatting and then we will go to the code and oh my zoom meeting is closing because nobody talks so idle after so long huh. How about that we want to talk on zoom ask and chat and I'll fire it up again uh, so then I want to get rid of uh, those three divs at the beginning. Change that to a paragraph. And then in search, I'm looking for div. I re replace all those. Get rid of the slash div. Replace all those, which leaves me with those images. Lots of lines here, but I think if I go to editor, and then go back to code. It takes out all of those lines in JCE editor. So that's nice. So I just need to do the same thing here. Control A, cause, just because it's faster. Center everything. Click on this top line. Left align it. Save that file. Go here. Go to resources. Down at the bottom here. Resources, Faith at Home. And let's see here, faith at home. Oh, that's right, pointers, pointers, pointers. I don't want that one to pointers. Yeah, I haven't changed that page either. Pointers, and we'll have all those graphics in the middle and they'll wrap. Excellent, all right, so let's just go back to here. We'll save and close. We did pointers, we've done children. Let's see what's happening with teenagers. What's happening with teenagers these days? Those guys. All right. Still that div class there. Huh. Let's just look, I would think that that should be in a lot of places. Ah, oh, there we go. Three rows there. Oh, okay. Look at the, now. This is using multiple articles. It's used in Faith Path. It's used in Marriage, and it's used in Teenagers. That's pretty faint. But this is what I want it to uh, do. Is so I can now replace those in every article. And now go back here, and here's div class. This div class sflb section control copy i'm going to replace it in all those articles search and you know when i'm doing it this way i'm positive that if uh, someone who knew about regex or if peter were watching he would uh, peter uh, and um, van weston were watching he would say well why don't you just do this and it'll all be done in one shot but there i replaced everything there and then um I'm going to go ahead and replace just the divs as well. Let's find all the divs. Oh, look at that. I forgot. I missed a closing tag there. 
Well, that's going to be awkward. I'm going to have extra extra tags in there. Better refresh this. I'm not saving. I don't want to save these changes, but I want to see what it looks like now. I refresh that. And yeah, I end up, oh, it didn't, uh, it just, oh, I just went ahead and dropped the, uh, the ending, the closing tags that I didn't have. All right. So let's go here and replace slash div. And, and we're, again, we're only working in this one cat in this one category of files. So replace that. And I'm going to refresh this article here. And I think I still have divs in here. Oh yeah, here's a div class to get rid of here. Uh, now I have some that are just div. So let's go here. And so we'll replace those. Replace, okay, okay. And we'll replace that long one I just selected. Search, replace, okay. Okay. Now when I refresh this, all we have are, yes, those images. I don't have a paragraph at the end of that article there. And so I go to editor, go to code. Oh, I have a few things down here. Here's another div that I haven't removed from all of those. Looks like that's the only article that that replaced in. And, oops, let's go back here. Control copy to do. Let's replace. So what's common in here is F S F L B underscore. So if I S F L B. Anyway, so I'm going to replace that. And sorry, this article here. And refresh. I should be rid of everything here. Editor, code. There we go. Now we still have a paragraph mark at the end of those things there, which I don't want. So I'm going to put that right there. And there's the ampersand MBSP space holder, which I will go up here and this, there we go, that takes care of that. Control A, center, hit that one there, that line, and go left. I think there's an extra space there. And, oh, oh maybe it does need its own, uh, maybe it does need a paragraph at the end. Okay, Let's see what's happening. I need to put an enter there code and then have its own paragraph style okay and uh, we'll just type in the code right there alignment as center all right preview that everything centered all right so we'll save and close that that's children teenagers check holidays to make sure that I haven't missed any code in that oh there's some more in there there is SFLB. All right, 3333. Three, three. Copy. Here, I probably could have done some regex here. Look for, uh, search for anything that has F SFLB row and delete and all that. So, yep, that would have been faster. But I am not up there on my uh, regex to that degree. So that's why I'm going to go and delete this. Control A, Control B, search, replace, 
and I'm sure okay and I believe that that is probably everything there uh, refresh and let's go here and code yes there we go that's how we wanted it let's go editor take out space at the end hit enter and go hold shift and then select to the end make that centered that did not center did it control a center and click on that line and go left and save and close and that takes care of holiday all right well hey if you what are you guys working on while we uh, just uh, plug away at things here we want to say that say so in chat while well, I go down to the marriage article. Oh, that one's already moved around quite a bit. So let's. Uh, oh, here's a div class SFLB row twelve. Control copy. Control A. Control V. Search. Replace. Okay. Okay. What else have we got missing here? A span of 12, okay. Control A, Control B, search, replace. Okay, okay, yes, one regex would have done this way faster, I can see. Can't be good at everything. And then it looks like we still have some slash divs to get rid of. Div. Although without their opening divs, they'll just disappear. Search. Not found, but it's interesting because they are there. Slash div right there. Why is that not being found? Who knows? But that's refresh. And we'll look at the code, and those are gone from the end as well. So we'll go to editor. Let's uh, put this on its own line. Whoops. And took the space out at the end. And we go like that and center. Nope. Control A, center. C click on that and go to the left. Yeah, it's sometimes centering is a little fiddly in the editors. So, all right, save and close. That takes care of marriage. Pointers, did we do pointers? Looks like we did. I'll just look, check the code. Yes, we did. All right, so let's close that. And then uh, that's pointers, faith path. This might be a link to different articles there. Yeah, this has the video in it. Now this one's already wrapping, which means we may have already stripped out, oh yeah, we already stripped out in the find and replace, so that got fixed. Um, oh, here's a div class. Uh, Six six. That snuck by. Let's put that in there. Control A, Control V. Search. Replace. Okay, okay. Articles refresh. I mean, this is sort of satisfying to just sort of get things cleaned up like this. Um, I've obviously not taken out the format here. Control A. Do do. And Control A. We'll center everything again. This we're going to wrap to the left. No, okay. We're not going to do that. We're going to go Enter. Now we're going to wrap it to the left. It'll stay there by itself. And uh, I think uh, let's save this and preview this page and see if uh, the paths are working on it. We did the find and replace correctly. 
these are probably going to, yeah, yeah, that's on there nicely. I think these all turn into 404 errors because I need to go in and do each of these articles and activate them to see what's going on. I may have to do a mass uh, find and replace on some of that as well. Um, all right, so anyways, we'll save and close that. Faith Path and Faith at Home, which I think is just an introduction. Oh yes, this is this is something I need to um, fix up here and do some re um, rewriting. One of the interesting things about this page that I found is this, and it's you know it's a few years old and it's an approach, but it has a lot of instructions for people and what to do and. Um, uh, hi, welcome to PABC's Faith at Home page. We're glad that you found the time to explore this new section of our website. So um, I've been re-changing the, the text of this just to say more things like um, uh, welcome, to our, uh, welcome to our Faith at Home page. Um, uh, take some time and explore this new section of our website that's built for, you know, just more less instructive and uh, or more less inviting and more just... Uh, just an introduction and instruction. Um, and But they do have a nice introduction here. So for instance, uh, uh, all of these 30 pointers will help you lead your family. Uh, so th that's a link to the pointer page. So these are actually descriptions of that could probably go on each of the uh, other pages. So there's a little bit of organizing uh, logically too of how to put this content uh, I'm gonna go control a and just strip that of all that formatting and I'll go through that later on today save and close so as we go to uh, anyway so that takes care of all of those pages and so that means when we go here to resources the whole faith at home section um, instead of having all these images, I think we're going to go with more of a big uh, a description and then a read more so that the page, you can see all of these really well, change it so that everything fits on the view there and um, be a little bit more organized. And anyways, the great thing is, is they're going to have access to their site again. They're going to be able to manage it in-house. And that's going to uh, cut down on frustration. Let's take a look at the last articles that uh, I have. What I did was I copied all, I imported all the articles over from WordPress. And then um, I unpublished them all. And as I have fixed them up, I've published them, which is nice because I can then filter and just slowly look at the ones that are unpublished and look at them and fix them up and some of these are sermon series others of these are those ones that we just saw that were broken so for instance um, parent dedication i think that breaks right yeah so parent dedication so there must be one in here for parent dedication there it is um and some graphics there in the back and a video so i need to i need to change the embedding here for these vimeo videos that they have and uh, activate that so and then they've got download parent dedication kit which is a link let's see where that is that's in images faith path so that's another one that was uploaded they did a big update in 2005 in july so that um, that's something I'm going to have to work through. Now, the nice thing is, is I can probably, if they use all the embed height on these vid Vimeo videos, I can put a player on here that will just, I can bulk change, uh, and just use the video number. Um, there might, yeah, or yeah, so that's, uh, that will be interesting to check out. So that's something that I need to do later on today as well. Uh, and so, uh, just look through the rest of these files and see where they fit in and what they do. So PABC values, I don't know oh, that I have, I'll have to see this, is their statement of faith. I'll have to see where 
that lives on their site as well, their old site. Probably in resources. Uh, right now your move, maybe, uh, maybe not. Is it in about? Oh, it might be in about. Uh, learn about our church history. Learn about our discipleship practices here. Oh, PABC values. Okay, so that's something I need to uh, organize. And I think I have changed this. Um, this is, again, uh, where... Um, yeah, so do, I just have a little bit more work to do on that. All right. Well, I won't continue on doing that right now. I think I'm going to take a break for my lunch here. And I actually have to, after 1 o'clock, which is in about half an hour, uh, call this, uh, this client and give them an update on where things are at. So, anyways, the whole, uh, the whole gist today or the main thing was to uh, sort out uh, moving a lot of those files. Clearly, there's other things that have been uploaded in Word in WordPress, in the WordPress site that I'm going to have to find out where those are located and move them to a new location as well and do the same finding and replacing of URLs. But that's just the grind of uh, converting sites and working away at things. So uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. A little bit of rain here at Cybersalt World Headquarters. Uh, if John, if you're still watching, uh, I'm glad that you found us over here. Um, I, you know, we've had had some talks about different things to do for Watch Me Work live streams, and I certainly have some things lined up and some ideas too uh, for um, maintenance Mondays that have been coming up too as I've been helping people with things. And so uh, we'll just keep chugging away on the channel. Now, the nice thing about me being uh, having Watch Me Work live stream on YouTube now is I don't need to download it from Twitch and then do some editing and then upload it. I, it's just going to be there. And all I have to do is go and cut off the uh, super long uh, countdown that I used again today. I don't know if you if you were on for that, Vinny, but um, uh, yeah, I've been wondering about just going with no countdown or something briefer. But uh, I'm going to the issue on YouTube is that um, the issue on YouTube is that if you put in a drop down card at a certain time point. It used to be that if you cut off, if you edit it off the beginning of the video, the time cards did not adjust. So I need to do an experiment with uh, Monday's video. I'm going to take, I'm going to clip off a little bit at the beginning and see if YouTube has fixed that. And if they have, I'm going to go with an actual even longer introduction to give people more time to get on the channel and be around at the beginning. Because one of the things that bothers me about live streams is that when they, there's some live stream streamers, they start. And then they talk for a couple of minutes, hoping people will come on. And I don't do that. I maybe ramble a bit at the beginning, but um, just more of a chance to get everybody together on the main theme of it. So if YouTube has fixed the clipping of the the uh, 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 has the syncing of cards with clipping and editing in the video, then that'll certainly be easier way to go forward. So, anyways, well, thanks for hanging out today. Um, for those of you that were watching or lurking or, or whatever, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your support of this channel. And I, uh, hope that, um, I hope that you have a good rest of your day or evening where you are at. And, uh, so, and to, oh, this is, yeah. So tomorrow it won't be live, uh, but it is going to be on, um, it is going to be on, uh, a, a zoom call for us to look at an introduction at Streamlabs OBS. So it's not gonna be on the YouTube channel, it's going to be just a, a an offline, but a public uh, Zoom call to look at Streamlabs OBS to get an overview of it and to sort some things out. And so uh, I have that posted on Twitter and on Facebook. So uh, head on and uh, follow at Basic Joomla on Twitter or go to uh, Basic Joomla Tutorials on Facebook. Shoot me an email, tim at support uh, so sorry, support at cybersalt.com if you want a, a link to that. And um, we'll see. My plan is to uh, not only so for us to have that overview, but to maybe get some stuff, some key points and an outline to do some live stream or to do a video, do some Streamlabs OBS training so or tutorial. So everybody want to thank you finally for your, again, well, one last time for your support of this channel 
and uh, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless. <laughs>